Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is the topic of window method for ESE 563 digital signal processing. At the end of this topic, the students should be able to apply window method to design finite impulse response filter FIR for given specifications. Slides used in this video are based on the monograph by Dr. Hazli Hashim. From previous topic, we have the frequency response of an n-order causal fil FIR filter as shown in this equation. FIR filters have two important advantages over IIR filter, where the first one, they are guaranteed to be stable even after the filter coefficients have been quantized. This is the example of quantized signal. And the second one is they may be easily constrained to have linear phase. For window method, the concept is based on uh, the ideal impulse response HID where it is generally infinite in length. The ideal magnitude frequency response HID exponent J omega for low pass filter will be as shown in this figure. In this method, we begin with the desired frequency response specification HD omega and determine the corresponding unit sample HDN. HID is the ideal impulse response while HDN is the impulse response. In order to design low pass filter, an FIR filter sin C function HN can be generated by windowing HDN with a window function WN. With the window design method, the filter is designed by windowing the unit sample response based on this equation, where WN is a finite length window that is equal to zero outside the interval from zero until N, the number of the signal, and it is symmetric about its midpoint okay so it is symmetric about its midpoint recall that multiplication of a window function wn with hdn is equivalent to convolution of hd omega with w omega where w omega is the frequency domain representation based on fourier transform of the window function